Greetings. Ah, uh, disclaimer na po. Konti lang. <laughs> I think today's the day na kailangan natin pag-usapan ang pinamatinding problema dito sa Pilipinas. One that strikes everyone the most. And I believe kung masasolusyonan tong problema na to, everything else will fall into place and will become okay. Corruption, natural disaster, krimen, edukasyon. They fall short to what I think is the most ridiculous problem dito sa Pilipinas. And I'm glad na may mga mababuting utak dyan naman na maayos ang ginagawa nila para solusyonan itong problema na to. But keep in mind, keep them in mind. I'll also talk about them. Pero pag-usapan muna na natin ang suliran na yun. I think it's time to talk about mall design ng Pilipinas, pre. SM. Have you ever looked at SM? Any SM dito sa Pilipinas? Tapos sinabi mo sa sarili mo, Wow! Box lang to na may laman. Like, look at this! King Inang South Mall to, walang creativity, buong mall, isang blue na box. And here's the thing, right? Lahat ng SM sa Pilipinas, box lang sila. Na pinaligiran lang ng parking lot. At kung swerte ka, box din ang katabi. What the fuck? Ang ganda ng natural beauty dito sa Pilipinas, ang daming pwedeng magagandang variety ng mall mo. Tapos ano, ang bag mo box? And that doesn't just apply to South Mall. Putang ina, buong Pilipinas ganyan. Mawa, ano? Box 1, box 2, box 3, box 4, box 5. Sa sobrang daming box pero parang pupunta ka ng concert eh. Tapos may bilog, ayan, sa harap, tsaka sa likod, ayun. I-rearrange nyo, tang ina, parang titi na. At least sa may mowa, gago pre, hindi sila box. Tang inang Conrad at Ikea yan. Box kasi ang puta. Pero sa sobrang daming box ng SM, iniisip ko mahilig ata sila mag-Minecraft. Ano, siguro mga magulang na mga architect sa SM, tsaka nakita nila mga anak nila nagma-Minecraft. Akala siguro nila magandang design choice yun para sa mall nila. Kung bata pa si Henry C, nagbibenta pa siya ng sapatos, tinitingnan niya yung shoe box. Ano yung lagyan ng mga binibenta ng sapatos, tapos sabi niya sa sarili niya, gawin ko kaya mga mall to. Kingin na, lahat ng SM pre, either super weird ng design or box. Let me show you ha, SM Aura. Ang inang yan, sapatos, ang puta! Hindi lang ata inisip ni Henry Cifre na gawing shoebox mall niya, kundi gago. Gawin niya na lang kamong sapatos yan. North Edsa! North Edsa, pinagtatabing-tabing box lang mga yan! Mega Mall! Mega Mall! Rectangle! Na box! Lahat box pre! Kaya pre, I don't think that there's a hope for infrastructure here dito sa Pilipinas kung lahat ng gagawin natin, parang dystopia na box na mall. Kasi putang ina, you get stuck in traffic for hours on end sa city planning. Ta sira-sira kalsada. Pero I think, SM is the last row para sa ating mga Pilipino. Hindi na nga mala Singapore pre ang ating bansa. Alam natin lahat yan. Hindi walkable ang Manila. If you can last 20 minutes in new belt walking, I assure you, Kamahalin. Kita, I cannot stand its design. Kaya never ako nakapag-enjoy kapag sinabi sa akin na pupunta tayong SM. Anong gusto mo papasok ako sa box na puro white ang loob? Fucking boring ass looking ass mall? Literal! Lahat ng nasa loob ng SM, pre, it's the fucking same. Ang puti ng floor. Sobrang open, pre. It's boring. It's bland. Yung amoy, the same. Crowded. Kung kakain ka, it's either the restaurant na walang tao or puno or food court. And don't even get me started in the food court. Good luck, gago. Good luck eating there na wala kang katabing pamilya na may umiyak na bata. We've got it all for you. Wala ka kayong creativity. Tang ina, hindi kayo marunong lumika at mag-design ng mall maayos. You could argue, okay, na yung mga malls nila, ginawa sila for the middle class. Or lower class. Pero putang ina, pre, kahit mayaman or mahirap ka, mukha pa rin dystopia ang buong mall na yan. Sa bagay, dystopia na mga Pilipinas, eh. Pero, sa lahat ng sinabi ko, that's nothing. To add insult to injury. Kung ano special sa isang mall, pre, they take it out for no goddamn reason. South Mall, the mall that is the nearest to me, may ano sila, theme park dati, amusement park. Gago, may sarili silang Sky Ranch. Seryoso. I remember taking rides at saka na-enjoy ko pa na pumunta sa mga birthday party doon. Pero, what made me happy is, ayun nga, may pupunta na ako doon. May maganda. There's something special about that mall. Pero ngayon, wala na, pre. Wala na! Wala na yung story lang, pre! You took the one thing that your mall is known for and made you special and replaced it with fucking parking lots. Pati skating rin nila, pre, nawala na. Kung saan ako masaya mag-skating mag-isa, pre. 
ang dami kong nakikilala mga kaibigan doon sa skating rink. Para na rin playground. Tas tatanggalin nila. Ano pa malit? Tang ina UFC gym. Ang puta. Yung kailangan pumuntang SM South World para magboxing pre. I can do my own boxing in home, thanks. Anong gusto mo gawin ko pumunta MOA or Mega Mall para mag-skating, ha? Alam mo ba kung gano'ng kamahal ang gas at saka pamasahe ngayon? Ha? SM? At this point, yung pinakamagandang attraction lang nila is yung arcade. Pero, lahat naman ang mall meron ganun. Dodolon World. Dodolon World. Dami ko pang tokens dun, eh. Time Zone. Pero, eh, nakakabitin lahat ng time zone, pre. Kahit gano'n pa sila kalaki, nakakabitin sila. Okay. Tapos na ako sa rant. Okay. Actually, ito na yung part ng video na kung saan magsasalita na tungkol sa opposite na SM. Remember when I told you guys that there was this group of people na gumagawa ng solution para sa problema na ito. If you want to experience joy in your life, kung gusto mo ng place na mapapasmile ka lang, this is where the vibrance of perfection captivates your soul. For this is where Filipino talent for architecture, aesthetics, and art flourishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you, Ayala Malls. I'm a boy from the south and I don't go to many malls para gumala. Pero when I do, I only take pleasure where shit gets interesting. And I am a firm believer that Alabang Town Center is the best mall, maybe not just in Metro Manila, pero sa buong Pilipinas. The location of ATC just seems perfect. Katabi niya mayayamang lugar sa Alabang pero not also too far from the middle class suburbs of Las Piñas where I'm from. And it's still pretty accessible for lower class people to commute from Alabang Sapote. Well, kung hindi mo naisipin yung traffic, syempre. This middle ground between socio-economic classes is supplemented with grandeur, simplicity, and a variety ATC has to offer. Lahat from mayayaman, nakainan, to cheap ones na gusto mo. With automatic doors na nagbubukas and a homey feeling with every corner you go dito. I never liked malls that get too high unnecessary. Ang daming nag-uulit na corridors. Tapos ayun, it lacks any natural beauty and just feels copy-pasted. Pero Alabang Town Center has been existing longer than South Mall. And it manages to be better in every single aspect ng pagiging isang mall. In SM malls, you can easily get lost. But here... The corridors just feel so natural and comfortable. Like, isa lang ka mo yung direction na pupuntan mo each and everywhere you go. Look at this one over here. I'm sure 100% naman if you've been to MOA na alam mo kung ano to. Corridor nila. Courtyard, corridor, whatever. It's familiar and there's shops on both sides. Restaurants, shops, mga bilihan. Pero, tell me, does it belong to the left section of the mall or the right section of MOA? Kasi dalawa yan. Like, ayun nga, paulit-ulit sila. You never know, kasi it's the same boring repetitive courtyard kung saan sila napupunta. Pero for malls such as ATC, you love how much you can explore the mall and still have this vibe that differs through every part of the mall. Like from here, you can sense that children will most likely be playing here. I know, because I've done so myself. My friend is very racist. He is actually, ah, actually, actually. It won't have a lot of people roaming in the quadrangle because ayun nga, they'll be in the sides. And it's a great way to manage people traffic because you know, the children will be playing the middle and people are just going to par- ikot lang sila dun sa side. Or this part which is the part that I actually love in Ayala Malls by the way. 
This is what I would call the open center. Lahat kamo sila meron, Trinoma meron, Market Market meron, ATC meron, ito yun sa kanila. May mga terry sila na mga shops na sinosurround kung ano yung nasa baba. With a big open area, parang coliseum ba? Fit for any events, makita mo kung may taekwondo event dyan sa baba, ma- mapapanood mo. Again, it's a good place to manage people traffic because they won't be going inside the open area. Doon sila sa side. SM tries to copy this but fails miserably. Just feels too indoor eh. Parang talagang na ano ah, it's not like I would say claustrophobic. Pero binibring niya yung feeling ng claustrophobia kahit sobrang ano ah, sobrang open niya. SM feels too indoor eh, pero it's open center just feels claustrophobic, narrow and small. For example, look at this one. Itong open center sa SM Manila. Nadadaanan ko to kapag galing ako school pero... I often picture events, pero when it comes to events na nangyayari, I think na kung may event man dyan, sobrang crowded ng lahat ng open center. Hindi siya masyadong malawak, kumbaga. But in Ayala Malls, if an event happens and you want to watch whatever's below, the terraces and the open center almost feels like you're watching in the Coliseum. And this part of ATC is my favorite and talagang recurring theme to sa lahat ng Ayala Malls because it combines the technology and modern aspects such as the escalator in the outdoors Each and every part of an Ayala Mall feels so distinct that it has its own personalities. Kada part, kada Ayala Mall may sariling personality. Kada Ayala Mall, party nila may sarili-sariling personality. I think I'm going too in-depth in this, pero bear with me. It's almost like you're taking a stroll through a European palace where it is beautifully designed with every part meticulously inisa-isa nila. Going maganda. You'd think that Market Market is the big box that's in BGC, but inside it, it contains the open center that I appreciate. May mga attractions sila, such as yung calisthenics park, ayun nga, may mga attractions sila. Beat that SM. Not only that, but literally just a stroll away. Beautiful Serendra. And by God, the aesthetics of that place is unbelievable. You know, naisip ko sa sarili ko kung gano'ng ka-ridiculous ka man na may titira doon sa taas ng Serendra. But looking back, I wonder how much you could actually appreciate the beauty and talent that it went through the mind of a Filipino to design such an amazing and wonderful, not only for the resident, but also for the customers, the consumers down there na kumakain sa restaurant ng Serendra, who wouldn't want to live in heaven where you can appreciate the colors and joy of the world below you. And kapag dumiretso ka lang, High Street. Nakakontinue pre ang trend ng aesthetics. The genius that went to the mind of who made High Street were steps ahead of their competition. Basically, when High Street was made, there was no BGC gaming, nightlife, sex life, high life, drinking life, big buildings, high towers to speak of. Pero, they knew na magkakaroon ng ganun. The soldiers in BGC, the fucking architects there, they knew na magkakaroon talaga ng malaking commercial center doon. So, instead of putting a big ass box like some people would do, they instead placed a pleasant long strip mall where you can see the towers galing doon sa mga sa high street. Nakakita mo ang towers pa ng BGC. Maganda ang aesthetics. Nakakahinga ka. The Ayalas are the kinds of capitalists na dapat natin i-encourage sa sudad natin. Because they are the only ones na nag-encourage na gawing maganda ang infrastructure natin. Not only for the high class people, but for the low class people. Kung ano nakakita mo sa Ayala, Ayala, Glorieta, BGC, kung ano nakakita mong magandang streets doon. They are the capitalists, pre, who pioneered that shit. Singapore-like. And I am the firm believer that SM, the people who run SM, are the factored capitalists that we should avoid. You might disagree with me because Inherently, maybe you believe that capitalism is a bad system. Pero if done right, capitalism is good. And infrastructure is the one thing that shows it. This made me think that I'm in Singapore and all this combined with nature and still each part feels so distinct. Yun nga, sinabi ko nga. Not, uh, not to mention you can do loads of shit like jog, bike, exercise. Kaya ba na SM yan? And this is the type of shit that gets me excited to go to places such as BGC, Alabang, and Makati. These malls are tasteful. They are the pinnacle of what Filipino talent can do when done right. We can build structures that are pleasant to the human eye. And I know that from history, kung kinain natin na sa Filipino na gawin maganda isang bagay, kaya natin gawin. Ayala de Zobel, thank you for hiring the best Filipino architects. Maybe foreign, maybe Filipino, but thank you for hiring the best architects. From the bottom of my heart, you have put a smile to my face. 
when I go to your malls. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs>